Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into a question that fascinates many people, can narcissists truly love others? This question is complicated, as narcissists are known for their grandiose self-image, need for admiration, and lack of empathy. But there is a spectrum when it comes to narcissism, and some narcissists may have a limited capacity for love. Stick around as we break down what researchers have found on this topic. To start, let's define what narcissism is. Narcissistic personality disorder is characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a need for excessive attention and admiration, troubled relationships, and a lack of empathy. At the core of extreme narcissism is incredibly low self-esteem. Narcissists seek to construct a grandiose external image to overcompensate for feeling inadequate on the inside. This drives many of their toxic behaviors, the need for constant validation, taking advantage of people, extreme jealousy, etc. Their fragile ego must be propped up. But in the spectrum of narcissism, not all narcissists are extreme. Some have milder forms that may allow for some capacity to care about others. According to researchers, there are a few key factors that determine whether or not a narcissist can feel love. Sense of attachment. Narcissists often view relationships as transactional, seeking partners who will inflate their egos. They can quickly devalue and discard partners when they no longer provide enough validation. However, Research shows narcissists can form attachments to those who consistently offer admiration, praise, and status enhancement. They do not attach emotionally like others, but rely on people who bolster their self-worth. Attachment for narcissists may be rooted in insecurity rather than affection, but the fact they can rely on select individuals for ego support indicates some capacity to distinguish preferred relationship partners ability to empathize. A hallmark of extreme narcissism is a complete inability to recognize others' perspectives and feel empathy. This impedes their ability to genuinely care. However, narcissists on the milder end of the spectrum can empathize to a certain extent. This may allow them to consider a partner's feelings and needs, at least when it aligns with their own goals. A narcissist's version of empathy is limited and self-serving, but mild empathic capacity means they may feel affection when a partner affirms their fragile ego. Desire for intimacy. Cerebral narcissists derive pleasure from obtaining status, power, and praise. Somatic narcissists center on appearances and sexual conquests. Neither tend to value emotional intimacy. But research indicates some narcissists do seek deeper intimacy from significant others. This desire for closeness shows they may be capable of emotional investment. Of course, a narcissist's version of intimacy ultimately serves their own needs. But their interest in sheer, albeit imbalanced, closeness reveals potential for caring. Concept of caring, according to experts, Narcissists have a skewed concept of caring dictated by their grandiose self-image and need for control. For example, a narcissist may interpret possessiveness or jealousy as love. Their caretaking often involves undermining a partner's independence. However, the fact narcissists do care about select individuals in their lives demonstrates some capacity for attachment. Even if flawed in nature, in essence, Narcissists cannot truly care for someone's needs in an empathetic way, but within their limited paradigm, they can feel a semblance of love. So in essence, moderate narcissists who don't rank extremely high in narcissistic traits may have a limited capacity to feel love and attachment towards others. The depth of that love is questionable, but they can experience love within their own warped paradigm. Extreme narcissists, however, view love transactionally and from a place of insecurity. They love others only as sources of validation, not as whole people. This limits their ability to truly love someone. Conclusion 
The extent to which narcissists can feel love exists on a spectrum. Milder narcissists are capable of attachment and flawed forms of caring, while extreme narcissists view love as entirely self-serving. While research indicates narcissists have great difficulty experiencing deep, genuine love, it seems some may have a limited capacity when their needs are met. But healthy, mutual love is a challenge. What are your thoughts on this complicated topic? Share your perspectives in the comments below. Let me know what other mental health topics you want to see in future videos. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.